Hey guys. Well, today I'm going to talk about something that uh, the other day it was on uh, reddit.com backslash fan dwellers and uh, there was a guy on there and he was complaining that living in a van is very difficult. Um, but he kind of said it in a more negative way than that. And when you read the details of what he was saying, what he was essentially saying is that he was not prepared or he had not planned properly and therefore everything was harder. Um, and um, I'm going to talk about uh, three things that I think are essential to live in a van, three things that are essential to have to live in a van. Yes, there are other things that are also very important, but to me, these three are um, at the top of the list. The first one is a little thing called insulation. So if you can see in my van right now up here, this blue stuff, it's kind of a light blue, this is two inches thick and this is all across the top of my roof this installation this is r10 and um it took a heck of a lot of work to put this in um and the lesson i've learned this time is yeah, loud people are loud aren't they um the lesson i learned this time is to use thinner pieces um like instead of doing them two inches thick use a half inch or one inch and they're easier to cut and they're easier to manipulate the two inches um i know it sounds kind of like well how much easier could it be but it is a lot easier because two inch half inch piece of um insulation is going to bend and it's going to shape uh take the shape of whatever it's bending to easier whereas the the two inch is very rigid and you just got to put it there and and it's not as easy to work with. Also, because the saw blade, I have a skill saw, um, circular saw, and it's only, I think the blade is only an inch and a half thick, or inch and a half. When you cut the, um, the two inch piece, it only goes down an inch and a half, so then you have a half inch left. So then I have to get another saw and cut that, and um, it, uh, you know, it was just a lot of work to do. So, um, it's easier to use half inch. Anyway, I don't want to just talk about the details of the particular insulation. The reason why it's important to insulate, um, mainly, uh, well, I got to talk specifically to my climate, and then other areas, you know, it's got might be different. If you're living where it's summer extremely hot, maybe you don't want to have insulation because um, it's gonna keep the heat in at late at night and it's still like really hot inside the van because the insulation will actually absorb the heat over time like hours and hours and hours and then uh, then you have to get that heat out somehow so if you're living somewhere it's really hot I'll often then maybe insulation isn't a great idea um, but where I live in uh, Vancouver BC it's only hot maybe three four weeks a month out of the entire year um, so that's important to mention that these things that I'm saying are specific to my climate so regarding insulation um, what I do is I endeavor to cover every single square centimeter of exposed van metal that means all this stuff everything covered um, because what happens is if uh, warm air hits cold metal you get condensation and water droplets form and then you have uh, problems with mold and definitely nasty stuff you don't want to have so not only does insulation do the obvious things like keep the heat in so you don't, you can run your heater for less time and save money that way and keep the heat out um, so you know if it's a hot day the heat it'll stay cooler in the van for longer um, lots of important things to consider regarding insulation 
And with insulation, I'd also add uh, having a vapor barrier, which means a layer of thick plastic over it so that no water, because uh, your body, you're constantly breathing out um, little tiny, tiny droplets of moisture in your breath. And that's why you get condensation on the, the windows and stuff, especially if you have a dog or something like that. Um, so you want to make sure that you cover all exposed metals so you don't get condensation. So the vapor barrier helps um, moisture stay away from the metal, uh, which you don't want to have happen, especially over a long period of time, it could actually cause rust. So that's insulation. What else is there? Okay, the second essential item I think is important for van dwelling is ventilation. This is the fantastic van. It's just the cheapest, simple one. Works just great for me. And you just roll this up. You get lots of fresh air in. Turn it on. Now, besides the obvious of getting oxygen into your van, another reason why it's very important to have ventilation is for cooking. Because, like I said at the, at the top of the video, that guy on um, that guy on uh, Reddit.com, he was complaining about gas fumes giving him headaches. So that fellow was getting, um, breathing in, I guess you might even say toxic fumes from the stove that he was using, and he didn't have ventilation. So before I do any cooking, first thing I do is I open my vent, my roof fan, and then I turn it on. And then I turn on the stove, and that way as I'm using the stove, everything gets sucked out. Um, that is extremely important. I won't do cooking in a van without adequate ventilation. Um, also, even if you're not cooking, you still need um, a good supply of oxygen. And this relates to the third topic of what I find essential. Oh, that's under my little towel here. Let me lift this up. Sorry about my hand. Is this dry? Almost dry. It's my heater. The third essential thing you need is a good heater. This is the Wave 3 Olympian. I've showed it in other videos how to use it and everything. But it's absolutely essential to have a good heater in your van. Um, unless you're in a very warm climate, uh, you probably don't need it. But up here in Vancouver, BC, it's pretty important. Could I live without it? Yeah, but would I be comfortable? No. So when I have a heater on, I absolutely must have a ventilation. Uh, it doesn't have to be turned on, but it needs to be... Um, the ventilation needs to be there so I don't die. Because these, these uh, propane heaters, they consume oxygen. And what do humans need to breathe? Oxygen. So yes, a heater is very, very important. Um, you can also just get away with a really good sleeping bag if you're, like I said, in a warmer country or a warmer climate, I should say. Um, so those are the three things that I find absolutely essential to make living in a van um, a comfortable, bearable experience. There's other things too. I mean, obviously a bed is very important. Um, somewhere to cook is important. Uh, a cooler or some way to keep your food is cold food cold is important but those are the three that I wanted to touch on in this video because sometimes people kind of overlook that stuff and uh, to me a ventilation and a heater and uh, insulation is really important thank you very much have a great day take care and uh, I'll see you in the next one